you do. I know that's real cheesy, but it's Valentine's Day after all. So I, thought I would talk about loving what you do, loving your job, doing what you're passionate about, doing what brings you joy, doing what excites you. So happy Valentine's Day. And yes, I love you. The thing I ask myself a lot is, am I truly doing what I'm meant to do? Is this my purpose? And I'm sure a lot of people find themselves disillusioned in their jobs or somehow feeling that as they've kind of moved and shaped their way through life, sometimes they've veered of course too far. They're no longer doing what they truly felt was like the reason that they should wake up in the morning. I mean, you really should be like super passionate about going to work every day. I often have to remind people and myself, like in life, if you want somebody to love you, you have to love yourself first. As a designer or creator or anybody, I guess, but you need to figure out how to get joy out of the work you're doing every day. And you need to work at loving what you do every day and so you should be in love with your work you should find the joy in every moment you know walk into a room and be so giddy about what you're doing you leave everybody else more excited but that's how you should be all the time that's like that is it that's working hard now there's a lot of guys who will like promote the hustle and they will promote like success and all those things success to me is happiness Happiness is the highest measure of success that I can get and this you know happiness is a big part of love Love is at the center of everything. I love what I do. I love myself. I love my kid I love the, the work I do. I love the people I interact with. I love the responses I get when when I have wins I feel with every part of me the aching and pain the anticipation the passion the pure excitement that comes from winning and losing in my day-to-day, -day, it, it gives me a reason to push myself harder, to get up the next day, to not give in. Another point, and I'm sorry, I'm, I know I'm bouncing all over the place, but I'll get to my point. A lot of people say that if they won the lottery, that's it, you wouldn't see them again. They pack in their bags and they're gonna be on a plane and no one's ever gonna see them because they're gonna be traveling the world. Well, I would love to be traveling the world just like anybody else. There's nothing more exciting. This world's big, but there's people that have gone to every single country in the world by the age of 21. They did that in like a couple of years. The Guinness Book of Records, there's a girl who's done it. I'll try and find her YouTube page and link it down below. At some point, traveling is gonna get a bit much. So I love it, I definitely wanna do it, but you know, that's like being somebody who wants to be single for a while and go on the party seed and live life wildly and the whole thing. That's cool, that's fine. At some point though, even if you had all this money and you had all this freedom, Sure, I'd travel. Sure, I'd take a break. Sure, I'd buy a whole bunch of stuff. But at some point, I'm going to find myself a place that has all the stuff that I want to be able to create. And I wouldn't necessarily say I'd do exactly what I do right now. But I would certainly spend all my time doing what I love. Creating, making, drawing, painting, sculpting just letting stuff come out of me and putting it out there in the world and recording the process and sharing it with people and putting it on the site that I build that's unique because it's no longer a client brief and it's no longer trying to sell me out of a need to get money from people just pure joy and freedom and everything would just be the opportunity to create whatever the hell I like and that's it that's that's my dream. Other people have their dreams. Good for them. We've got this relationship that we need to nurture. And we mustn't disrespect 
the fact that we have the good fortune to find something that we like because there's a lot of people who haven't found that the same way as there's a lot of people who haven't found that one person but don't take it for granted definitely every day find a reason to love what you're doing to get excited you know wake up every morning and go and find a reason to love what you're doing now if you're one of those people who hasn't quite figured out yet what they want to do then I would say to you that you need to find things that excite you you need to find things that interest you and go there and always point there and your north star will always be does that excite me does that whatever I also understand I'm a practical guy I understand we've all got to work we've all got to go and earn a salary so we might be in a shitty job and that does happen for some people I've been in shitty design jobs so it, it, it can happen there too because you can't control everything around you but let's say you're in a job it's it's not what you do you know what, what you really love and what you're passionate about you don't have this giddy relationship with what you're doing every day but it brings you enough money to pay your bills listen that's great too nothing wrong then what I would tell you to do is on the side on your in your spare time and even if you've got family and commitments and everything else carve out a piece of time to do something that brings you a lot of joy and when you do it put your heart and soul and see what a luxury it is to find something that you really love doing keep working on it and keep working on it and see which people have made a success out of the thing that you love let them be your guides you know copy what they're doing understand everything about them follow their networks really become obsessed about that thing that makes you happy and hopefully it actually becomes what you do at some point it could start off as just something you're interested in it could then become like a side hustle and then eventually it actually becomes your main income and I think if you had to ask me if Dexter my son had to ask me like what are you supposed to do in life that's it it's not save the world it's not all those things those things will come as a result of you following your heart I really believe it if you follow your heart you'll find what you love so with such an undeniable energy and feeling I have to believe that universally we should all follow one path if you said to me today what is your moonshot it's doing what I love it's finding a reason every day in the situation that I'm in to keep creating to keep sharing and to keep following my heart hey. my name is Craig Jamison thanks for watching subscribe like leave a comment and stay cool